Hey everyone, Marshall Couch here. I wanted to take some time and just have a short little talk about loops in Automation Anywhere. In a previous video, I mentioned that loops are where a lot of the value comes from. With loops, we can build out a set of logic and then repeat it as many times as we need to. So you can kind of think about that as for every customer, I wanna go through and do this logic. Or for every employee, I want to go through and do a certain set of logic. Loops allow us to do those sorts of things. What we're gonna to do today is we're just gonna build a little multiplication table or a multiplication list using some loops. To do that, we're just gonna use the loop times, which is just going to loop a certain number of times. There are all kinds of other looping capabilities that we have though. We can loop based on a list, which is a type of variable that we have in Automation Anywhere. We can loop based on Excel rows or just CSV and text rows, which we've used previously. Uh, we can also loop through each email messages or something like that. Lots of cool things we can do in here with loops. But again, for today, we're just gonna use times to keep things simple. So I'm gonna drag this in and I'm going to say, let's loop three times. Now, an extra cool thing that you may not have thought about with loops, especially if you're new to programming, you can actually nest loops. So we're going to drag another times in inside the loop that we just created. So I'm going to drag this in, and this one we'll say is going to be four times. So here, we can loop as many things as we need to uh, to continue the nesting. So that might be something like for a sales, for every sales document, we want to loop through every sales item. So the outer loop might be the sales documents and the inner loop might be the sales items or something like that. The, uh, maybe in an HR situation, you might have something like we want to loop through our different teams and for every team, we want to do something for every single employee on each of those teams or something like that. So loops are very cool and very nestable. So we've got something three times, then something four times. Let's get some variables so that we can actually use these. For this variable, this is going to be our variable for our first number to multiply, and we're gonna call it outer number. And this is gonna be the, the number that we're gonna kinda use in our first loop. So this one's gonna be a little more stationary, and we're gonna start it at the value of one. Now we're gonna add an inner number for our inner loop here. And this one's gonna change a little bit quicker and we'll see that in just a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this, my inner, change that to inner number. And now what I want is I want to actually multiply those two numbers to create my little multiplication list or multiplication table. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click add and I'm just gonna call this one multiplied. And I will capitalize that in. And we're gonna start it out just at one, but we'll actually be calculating that as we go. Now, what we want to do is we want to calculate as we loop through the outer number times the inner number. So to do that, all we have to do is scroll down, find our variable operation, drag that into my inner loop, because that's where we want to multiply it. And we're gonna multiply, we're gonna use multiplied, and we're gonna multiply our outer number, I'm gonna use the asterisk here to multiply and multiply that by our inner number. So let's go ahead and save that. And then what we wanna do is we wanna show that somewhere. So I'm actually gonna use the log to file. To do that, if you want to, you can just pop that up with a message box or something like that. Here's the message box. So I'm gonna do a log to file so that it happens a little bit quicker. And to log to the file, I've got a folder here just for this, my little loops folder here. So we'll put it here and say, call this the multiplication table. Multiplication table. And what I'm gonna put in here is I'm going to put, um, let's, see, let's do outer number. And I'm gonna put an X here to show that we're multiplying. And then we're gonna do inner number. And then I'm gonna say that equals, and that's gonna be multiplied. So that'll actually show me the outer number times the inner number is equal to the multiplied number. Now what I need to do is I need to actually use 
and put in my inner number and my outer number so that they're changing as we go through these loops. Right now we're just looping three times and then we're not actually changing my outer or my inner number. So what I'm gonna do is after that logic is done, I'm going to change these values and I'm gonna be sure that I reset my inner number value before I get to that loop. So I'm gonna go back to variable operation. I'm gonna drag one up here before my second inner loop or my inner loop. I'm gonna set that inner number just equal to one just to make sure that every time I get to this loop, it's starting at one and then it's going up by one every time. So now I'm gonna drag in another variable operation after my log to file, and I'm going to set my inner number equal to my inner number plus one. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my outer number right here at the end of my second loop. Now, because my outer number really only gets used once, it's just gonna go to, from one to three, it doesn't need to be reset. The problem with my inner loop is it's going to go from one to four, three separate times because of that outer loop. So let's go ahead and put in my outer number. And that's going to be equal to my outer number plus one. Let's go ahead and save that. That's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and save this file and let's give it a run and see what happens. This should run pretty fast. So I can open up my multiplication table file now and let's edit. I think I'm gonna, I forgot to put .txt on the end so I need to choose what file to open it up with. But now we can see that I've got a little multiplication table that says one times one equals one, one times two equals two and then it goes all the way to three times four equals 12. And so again, this first column is going to be my outer number, which starts at one and then goes up slowly. But then my inner loop starts at one, goes up to four and then repeats because I'm looping through that inner loop. That's loops in automation anywhere. And that's what we call a nested loop. Hope you'll join me for the next video. Thanks for watching.